Hey you guys, Marcos Vegas here with Freddie Roach, who's other fighter outside of Miguel Cotto, Manny Pacquiao, and the slew of other fighters he trains. Ruslan Provodnikov is getting ready for his fight uh, coming up in a few weeks. Freddie, how's Ruslan look so far? Ruslan doing very well. I mean, we uh, we had some real tough sparring days, and uh, he's uh, yesterday was uh, yesterday was a good day. We finally uh, um, I was a little bit worried for a little bit. Yeah, he just. Uh, He's finally getting uh, what, what my game plan and what I understand and what I, what, what I want out of him. And yeah, yes, it was a great day. And uh, he's, uh, he's in great shape. Uh, the weight, uh, he won 147 yesterday. Uh, not so bad. Uh, we're still about two and a half weeks out. So Ruslan's doing very well. Uh, you know, we're fighting a slick boxer, Algeri. And uh, you know he's, he's a conditioned guy, good, very, very good boxer. But uh, I, we're gonna put a lot of pressure on him, a lot of pressure like he's never seen before. And uh, um, we should get him out of there in the late rounds. I feel. Since he's become a champion, Ruslan, have you seen any changes in him? Well, we had a little change with his nutritionist and so forth. We had a little. Uh, get him on a, uh, maybe a better diet now and so forth. Um, I kind of like the guy who said, I saw, remember the guy who hunts moose and eats the meat raw because it makes you strong? I like that guy a little bit better, but, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but the thing is, uh, uh, we're just trying to improve his diet a little bit more. And it, it, it's, it's, going, it's going well, he feels good. Confidence-wise, is there a difference? Uh, Confidence-wise, he's just, much more confident, yeah. He knocked me down yesterday, so it was the first time I've been down in a long time. <laughs> so, wait, 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 tell me about that. What did he hit you with? Uh, shoulder and the right hand. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I, I'm okay. So, <laughs> you think like, man, I'm too old for this stuff, man. <laughs> the, the, everyone laughs at me, but uh, I, we get up and finish around, so yeah. that's all it counts. You know, uh, with this fight, what do you think Ruslan needs to show to, to get that next step, that next notch up? Well, you know, he needs to just fight like he has in the last couple of fights and be, be that, that, that brave warrior that, 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 that the people love. And uh, it's, just, um, it's just a matter of time before the big, big, the big fight comes. You know, his, his, his promoter asked me, Freddie, if the Pacquiao offer comes again, will you please let it happen? I said, well, I, you know, these guys are my friends. I said, I, I would hate to like, be against one and not the other and so forth. He said, well, maybe you uh, He said, I'll buy you a ringside ticket. I said, well, I don't know if it's going to happen. But if... Uh, I, I noticed that, though, from him, that he posted on his Instagram, like, hey, Manny, let's make this fight happen. And I would imagine it puts you in an awkward situation. Yeah, it does. But the thing is, if he wants that fight, I will give it to him. You give him a blessing? Yeah, yeah I, will, I will give it to him. And, you know, the thing is, uh, um, and, uh, you know, if he wants it, Manny, Manny will fight anybody. And it, 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 it would be a great fight, of course. You know, I mean, like, uh, um, Manny would outbox in my field, but, but Ruslan has that, that, that one-punch knockout power. So, you know, he'd be very, he'd be very dangerous from one, from one to twelve. If the, if the people want to see it, um, and Ruslan wants to fight, I, I told the people that we'll, we, we can let it happen, but I will lose one of my guys. No, it's a it's a tricky situation, but it happens a lot in the fight game. You you got to fight. It's part of life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, looking at Manny outside of uh, the people that have been brought up as his next opponent, Marquez, who else would you like to see him fight? Well, they asked me last night, they going over names and so forth, and I said, well, I'd really like to fight Danny Garcia. Yeah. I think I said that'd be a great fight for me for for Manny and for Garcia. Uh, I think uh, fight I would like uh, will will. They cross over, top ranking Golden Boy. Um, I, I know Oscar and Bob are getting along better. I, I hope this is a step to maybe fix some boxing. Danny versus Manny, would you like that at 140 or at 47? I like that at 40, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, like Manny. I think Manny makes 140 quite easily. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but either one, but uh, 40 sounds better to me. And, you win, win that belt and, uh, um, and then see what's next because Mar the Marquez, since his fight, he looked really good in his fight, I know, but the thing is, there's been no talk about negotiations at all about that fight at this point. 
So I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised about that, but no one's asked me about not one question. Uh, Freddie, you know, we can't wait for these fights. Uh, I know you have a lot of people coming up. As always, thank you very much. Here with Freddie Roach, Marcos Villegas, signing off.